Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue trapezoid ABCD whose uh, side lengths are uh, 91, 42, 21, and uh, 56 units. And moreover, this uh, side length AB is parallel to this side length uh, CD. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded trapezoid ABCD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And now let's recall the trapezoid's definition. Trapezoid is also called a trapezium. A quadrilateral with at least one pair of parallel sides. As you can see in our case, AB is parallel to CD. And now since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, blue trapezoid, and now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula. Area equals to height times A plus B divided by 2. And in our case, our A equals to 21, B equals to 91. The only thing is we need to calculate uh, the height uh, H. So therefore, we are going to think uh, outside the box. Therefore, we have drawn this auxiliary line uh, DE that is uh, parallel to this uh, line uh, CB. So therefore, if this uh, side length is 42 units, uh, then uh, this side length uh, DE has got to be 42 unit as well, as you can see over here. And now since we are dealing with this uh, parallelogram EBCD, if uh, this side length uh, is uh, 21 units, then uh, this side length EB has got to be 21 units as well. So therefore, our BE length is 21 units. And now we know that this whole side length AB is 91 units, and this side length EB is 21. Then uh, this uh, AE length is going to be 91 minus uh, 21 that is going to give us uh, 70 units so thus our ae length turns out to be 70 units and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, shaded triangle uh, aed whose uh, side lengths are 70 42 and uh, 56. now our question is is it a right uh, triangle so we are not sure about whether this is a right triangle so let's go ahead and apply the Pythagorean theorem to find out whether this is a right triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this longest leg as our side c. I'm going to call this side a and this side lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. a in our case is 56 whole square plus b in our case is 42 whole square equal to C in our case is 70 whole square. And now we know that 56 square is 31, 36, 42 square is 1764. And on the right hand side, 70 square is 4900. And now our question is whether this left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And now if we add the numbers on the left hand side, they're going to add up to 4900 and the right hand side is 4900 as well. So therefore, uh, this is uh, indeed a true statement. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, triangle ADE is a right uh, triangle and this angle uh, ADE is uh, 90 degrees. And here's our next step. We have drawn this uh, perpendicular DF uh, on this uh, line uh, AE. And now we can see that this uh, perpendicular DF is the height of this uh, trapezoid uh, ABCD. So therefore, let me go ahead and label this height uh, as lowercase h and now we are going to calculate the value of this height uh, h and now let's focus on this uh, shaded triangle ade i have just copied this one down over here where this uh, height is uh, h let me go ahead and label this side ad as a lowercase a this side ed as a lowercase b and this whole base uh, 
length a e i'm going to call this uh, lowercase c and here's our next step let's assume that alpha and uh, beta are our complementary angles in other words uh, alpha plus beta equals to 90 degrees now let's assume that this angle is alpha this is our 90 degree angle so therefore this angle has got to be angle beta and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, afd this angle is alpha this is our 90 degree angle so therefore this angle has got to be our angle beta and now let's focus on another right triangle efd this is our 90 degree angle this is our angle beta so therefore this angle has got to be our angle alpha so therefore we conclude that this uh, bigger right triangle uh, ade is uh, similar to another right triangle uh, dfe according to angle angle similarity theorem so therefore we are going to have a uh, proportions so let's go ahead and look at uh, this uh, smaller triangle dfe we have a ratio of uh, h divided by b let me go ahead and write down uh, h divided by b is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, a and uh, c let me go ahead and write down uh, a divided by c so let me go ahead and uh, multiply both sides by b to isolate h and we can see over b and b is gone so therefore our height h turns out to be a times b divided by c so thus our formula turns out to be h equals to a times b divided by c and in our case our a value is 56 b value is 42 and c value is 70. so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so our height h is going to be i'm going to multiply 56 times 42 divided by 70 and if we simplify everything on the right hand side our height h turns out to be 33.6 units so therefore the height for this trapezoid turns out to be 33.6 units and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded trapezoid uh, a b c d and now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula once again area equals to h times a plus b divided by 2 and in our case our a value is 21 b value is 91 and our h value is 33.6 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so the area I'm going to represent it by a is going to be height in our case is 33.6 times a is 21 plus b is 91 all over 2 and if we simplify everything on the right hand side so the area of this blue shaded trapezoid turns out to be 18 81 point six square units so thus the area of this uh, blue shaded trapezoid a b c d turns out to be one thousand eight hundred and eighty one point six square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye